This summer, the Community House in Birmingham is offering cooking classes, and this week's uh, session, it's all about desserts. And joining me this morning to go over one of the recipes you can learn is cooking instructor Lisa Howard. Good morning, Lisa. Thank Good you morning. so much for joining us. Thank what you. What are we going to make today? Well, today we have a summer berry dessert class coming up. So today it's going to be Neapolitan yogurt parfaits. Neapolitan. So Neapolitan, remember that ice cream when you were a kid? Yeah. It had the chocolate, the, the strawberry, the vanilla, mm -hmm. the layer effect. So that is what we're doing, but we're doing it with Greek yogurt this time, and we're creating our own flavors. But that's what it's going to look like. So I am going to have you recreate. Yeah, so here's your parfait glass. Okay. Now you can order them in whatever order you want. I started with chocolate on the bottom. And wow. the way I made the chocolate yogurt is I used unsweetened cocoa powder right, and I stirred and in a little bit of honey or you can use maple syrup, either one. And okay. this one winds up this and I'm using, I should point out also, I am using whole milk, plain yogurt, which is really important because it's nice and thick, has a lot of protein, very low in sugar. Well, so folks are like, well, you know, it's very low in sugar. They're like uh, trying to, obviously some people try to manage uh, their fat, some people try to manage calories. Where does this stack up? I mean, is this, would you say this is a, a healthy? Uh, this is the healthiest option when it comes to yogurt because sugar is what you got to avoid. And when you look at low fat yogurt, it has more sugar than Coca-Cola. Okay, so I can put this stuff in any order I want. You can want put it in any order you want, okay, and if so you want to put blueberries in between, you can do that. It's kind of like a little ice cream bar, but we're doing it with yogurt instead. Okay, so we have some so blueberries here blueberries. as well that I'm putting in, and and the I way that I sweetened before I forget to tell everybody, the way I sweetened this one, it's strawberry jam. So that's just strawberry jam and yogurt. Strawberry jam and yogurt, and the these are toasted coconuts. That is toasted coconuts. Uh, that we're putting uh, yep. in here. Unsweetened toasted coconut flakes. I just put it in a pan on the stove and just dry toasted it. And then we have uh, sliced almonds, same thing. I put it in a pan, dry toasted it. And then the vanilla layer I made by mixing the whole milk Greek yogurt with a little bit of vanilla extract and some, in this case, honey I used, or you can use maple syrup. But to get back to your question about the yogurt, this is unprocessed yogurt and it's unprocessed fat, and that's a good thing. It's low in sugar, it's nice and satisfying, it's a nice, rich dessert. It tastes incredibly rich without being too sweet. And speaking of incredibly rich, it's time for the chocolate. Now, yes. this is chocolate that you made, and how did you make this? I used unsweetened cocoa powder and a little bit of the honey, or you can use maple syrup. And, and that's my favorite layer, so. And so this is going to be, if, if there's anything that would bust my, uh, my diet, it sounds like honey and chocolate. Well, but we're talking unsweetened chocolate, yes. right? So, mm -hmm. and we're so talking all this protein in the yogurt. Okay. Yeah, and we're and talking all the iron that's in the chocolate too. And so, it's, so it is a nice balance that you're getting something that is flavorful, it's rich, but it is right. not going to bust my, my exactly. diet. Exactly, exactly. And what other types of desserts? You have a couple of books here. You're, you're a local person, but you're putting out books on uh, healthy eating, healthy cooking oils. Yes, yes. So my first book came out last year, Healthier Gluten-Free. Mm -hmm. And I always do gluten-free classes, so this is also a gluten-free book. That, the emphasis, is more on what it is to be gluten-free. How do you go about doing that? Using 100% whole grains, unprocessed foods. And then this one is more about the question of oils and fats. That's why I wrote this one. Okay. To address the concerns people have about oils and fats. And where can people find your book, and how can they uh, sign up for this event uh, at Community House? So the event at the Community House this Thursday, you can just go on my website, or you can go to the Birmingham Community House website and call and register for that. My books you can find, uh, this one comes out actually this fall, so we have another two months to go, but you can pre-order on Amazon. Wonderful. Or you can, any, you know, Barnes & Noble or any type of uh, online place. Or you can walk into a store and buy that one that's already on the shelf. Well, Lisa Howard, if the uh, recipes in there are anything like this recipe, you're going to be very successful. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank and uh, you. we hope you have a great uh, turnout at Community House Thank for you. our summer desserts. When we